Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to ShortSalePowerHour.com. My name's Fred Weaver. My partner, Kevin Kaufman, has been replaced by, uh, well, one of my favorite guys over here, Jeff Payne. How you doing, Jeff? I flip-flops today. I'm yeah, good. Jeff, Jeff just earned a pair of flip-flops. Uh, Jeff is from the Panama City, Florida area, correct? I have That's that right? Correct. A That's wonderful, right. beautiful beach town that I'm very jealous of. I, I live like six hours from the beach, man. It's, it's, it's very nice. It's rough. So, nice. so hey, Jeff, um, we've had you on the show before, but um, maybe give our viewers a brief background. I'd like you to tell them what you did before you were a real estate agent, and then if you briefly just want to talk about you know, what the last couple of years in real estate look like for you, too. Okay. Well, uh, upon graduating from college, there were no jobs. Okay. So I opened a pizza restaurant. Oh, yeah? And I learned all about high margin, low profit business. Okay. And uh, I realized that 18 hour days and making no money, and I had to sell my inventory, yeah. go rotten. Um, I decided that wasn't for me. So okay. I, I took a job. Uh, I worked in a steel mill and I worked with the United Steel Workers of America Union okay. for 10 years. Uh, not a lot different than real estate. There was a lot of negotiating going on. And then, yeah, you, you, know, you, you did some negotiation and yes. positioning like up here, right? So, yeah. uh, that was a very depressing and very, uh, it was a very dangerous job. So. I figured it was time to get back into business. And okay. Real estate is, uh, of course, uh, a high profit, uh, you know, low cost business essentially. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. So you have been uh, an agent now for how long? Four years. Okay. This is my anniversary for my fourth, my first deal was four years ago today. Okay. So let me ask you this. I know you've done a lot of short sales as well. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of our viewers ask, you know, where do I get my short sale leads? And I heard you on a panel here. We're actually at Mega Agent Camp. In Austin, Texas. We just wrapped up, and I heard you on a panel this morning talking to six thousand agents. So I should tell you how important this guy is. He got to sit up there and talk in front of six, eight thousand people. They said it was ten thousand. I'm just going to go with six. That seems like a safer number. It but, looked like sixty thousand. Yeah, it looked like sixty from the stage and all the bright lights on you. So what? Um, you know, you said something like Gary asked you. I think where do you get your short sale leads from? And I thought it was interesting just your answer. And, and if you don't mind sharing it with our viewers. Well, of course, uh, once I started closing short sales in our small community word got out that I was the guy, I was the go-to guy for the short sales, so it, I didn't have to market myself, it was, it's kind of like uh, the best surgeon in town, yeah. people go to him, you know, sure. their friends and family tell them about him, uh, so I, I get a lot of, uh, I get a lot of people that come to me, but I also have a financial advisor who is, uh, who's on Fox Business News, Okay. Um, he has a great system, and he, he provides me with a tremendous amount of Awesome. And many times the folks uh, that he sends to me, he's giving them financial advice and it's time to sell. They need to, they need to, they need to liquidate, they need to sell, and most of them are in short sale situations. Awesome. I'm sorry to smile on you like that, but uh, Brian Gubernick, who our viewers know as well, just decided to make a face in the window behind you there. He's now gone, uh, and he definitely caught me off track. So, um, I, yeah, I just think it's really interesting. The one thing I clued in on you saying this morning is that you're, you became a specialist, if I can say it that way, and you've actually never done any strategic marketing to short sell sellers, if I can say it that way. That's right. You're in a Florida market where depreciation has just happened, so a lot of people ask us, how do I get short sell leads? And I really don't think the mechanisms are that much different than it is to get any other lead, truthfully. Uh, depending um, on the market that you're in, they, they are all around you. Yeah. Yeah. If you probably walk 10 houses to the left and 10 houses to the right, you can find more short sales. Well, absolutely. And, you know, if you're in a slow market where short sales haven't picked up that much, there's at least two in those 20 absolutely. houses. And I, I think the important thing for our viewers, we've got viewers all around the country that watch this show. Some of them are in markets that short sales maybe only make up 5 to 10%. I think it actually presents a bigger opportunity for you. You've got an opportunity to get in there and take the short sale listings that are there and become that expert. So as the short sales do become bigger or if they become bigger in your market, you have that opportunity to kind of step in. Absolutely, I don't. I don't believe it's if, it's when. Yeah. Uh, I, this is this is something that's going to happen across the country. If it hasn't already happened, it's coming to your town. So be ready for it. Yeah. Yep. I think that's awesome. Um, share with us one more thing uh, while I got you on here. What What would you say? Like, what is it that sets you apart from getting short sales approved? I mean, uh, um, you've got a very high success rate. Don't lose very many at all. The foreclosure. What What sets you apart? What makes you different from everybody else? Pretty stubborn. Pretty stubborn. And I can't stand to lose. Okay. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. I hate to lose. I don't care if we're going to the go kart track on Friday night to play around, and there's a ten year old next to me. I don't like to lose. Don't like to lose. I do not like <laughs> to lose. And that's fair. I, I was a football coach for ten years, 
And uh, Brian said today he doesn't punt on fourth and one. Yeah, I don't right. punt on fourth and fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I, I, that's a great way of saying that. that I just, I just, uh, it's a challenge, and I don't like to lose challenges. Awesome. I think it's important for viewers out there to hear is that guys, you have to have that mentality, and if that's not you then you've got to find somebody on your team and align yourself with somebody that doesn't like to lose. Uh, Absolutely. Because if, if you don't already know, the stats around this country are that 20, 30, 40, if you listen to some really optimistic people, 50% of all short sales close. Um, but guys like us know that that's not, it's just not good enough for us. It's not acceptable. Somebody that likes to win and somebody that cares about the clients they take on, that's not acceptable. Absolutely. Not acceptable. And so when you come with that 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 mentality, I think that you'll do whatever it takes to find the, the yes person. Did you say that this morning too? Did I get that one Absolutely. You? And, and, and I've got to say that if you go, if, if you go into a short sale without being 100% sure that you're going to close that short sale, forget it. You're not going to don't even do it. I, I expect to close 100%, and I know that's very unrealistic, but I expect to close every short sale that, sure. I, that I initiate. I think that's the mentality that you have to go in with. Yeah, I always I always say in classes that we teach, if you hope your short sale is going to close, just stay away. Don't even do it. Absolutely. Because the, the way we all use the word hope is very, like, it gives you, you've already built in an opportunity for yourself not to succeed, and so you'll just accept that if that's your mindset going in. Absolutely. Anything else you want to share before we wrap it up? Or are you ready to put your sandals on? Well, and, I'll tell you, uh, I'm ready home. to put my sandals on and enjoy Austin. Okay, I like to hear Sunday that. Sunday night. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, so we're going to wrap it up here on three. You know how this goes. With Absolutely. Me, right? Let me you put, put my the sandals down. down. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. I'm going to ask you to fill in more often. Absolutely. So much nicer than Kevin. You don't talk over <laughs> me at all. This is great. Yeah, that's right, Kevin Kaufman. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Short sale power hour. Short sale power hour. Crush it. Crush it.